Oh, man, I got him. Let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. Oh, buddy. That's a dang sumo golly whopper right there, man. Hey, y'all. Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, it is just before dawn. From the looks of the skyline over there, it looks like it is going to be a beautiful sunrise. I'm going to be watching it, but hopefully I'm going to be reeling in some catfish while I do. Come with me. Let's have some fun today. Oh, right here. Might be about to get the first one as the sun comes up. Hooked up fish number one. Let's see if we can reel him up and see what he is. He ain't going to be very big. We're going to be setting a bar low here to start out the trip. That's how I like it because you got nowhere to go but up. I'm going to assume this is a blue cat. I feel him rolling down there. It is. It's a small blue. And he's knocked that bait off too. That ain't very nice of that fish. He's he's being stingy down there, keeping that bait for himself. I was going to feed it to two or three more of his friends. Well, let's land him. There he is. Just a small little cat to start the day. Slimed up my line. Stole the bait off air. I felt another rod get hit too. Let me set this back a second. Is it this one? Yeah, it's bouncing around back there too. Let's see if it goes down. There it goes. There it goes. We almost had us a double, didn't we? Beautiful sunrise out here this morning, y'all. Awesome day on the water. At least for the next little while, I'll still have the, the place to myself out here before all the pleasure boaters get out. But right now, it's calm. It's beautiful. And I must be on some fish right here because they that's two in a row. Let's see. Yeah, that's another, that's another small blue right there. That, that bait he eats about as big as his head. Come here, blue kitty. Come here now. There we go. Well, this fish here had a little bit more courtesy than his friend. He gave me the bait back. That was a skipjack head. I got skipjack all four rods today. Two heads, two midsections. Well, they've already done some damage. I'll, I'll get one more fish out of that bait. That rig there is just Carolina rig. My other three rods have a stinger hook, the stinger fly on there. I'm gonna get this one down. I'll get the other one rebaited and I'm gonna keep making my way down this ledge. That's what I'm doing right now to start anyway, is I'm fishing along a, a main channel ledge. Right now I'm 46 feet deep right here and just kind of working my way down through here. Out here this morning, as typical this time of year, don't have any current flow. They normally kick the generation on at the dams about mid morning and then increase the flow throughout the day. So right now, at sunrise here, there's nothing going on. So to move myself, I'm using my electric motor here and just working along this ledge, just trying to run into some fish. And so far, got them two small ones. So, you know, there's some fish in the area, obviously. So I'm gonna get spun back around here after I get rebated and keep making my way along. I've got them, again, four rods out, all suspended just off the bottom. So, you know, 40 some odd feet deep. Head baits on the left side of the kayak, midsections on the right. I do have a couple white bass in my cooler. I may switch out and try out throughout the morning here, just kind of seeing how it goes. But right now I'm gonna start with all skips because they're good and fresh. So anyway, enough of me flapping my gums. That rod right there was getting tapped. Something tapped it while I was talking to you. That fish thought he was gonna sneak up there while I was distracted talking to you all but I caught it out the corner of my eye. Good thing he thought better of it and swam on. <laughs> oh, front rod, front rod. That's another one on the head. That's my, that's my big head right there. I got a larger, I had a smaller skipjack head on the back rod and a larger one on the front. And it just went down. All right. I still don't think it's going to be a very big fish, but he definitely feels a little bigger than what I've got thus far. We'll see here in a second. Yeah, that's a, that's a little better. That's a little better fish. 
I knew he felt a little bigger. I don't think them smaller fish that I got there earlier could have got that bait in their mouth. They might have accidentally got a hook, but they couldn't have choked it down. Yes, right here, this is a, this a little smaller fun sizer, I'd call it here. Come here, fish. Come introduce yourself. Well, he was kind enough to leave the bait on there, and then that one's... Oh, that rod was getting hit, too. Boy, he's got a mouthful to say down there, don't he? He's, he's like, don't look at that other fish. Put the attention back on me. Who you wanting to shout out, fish? You want to tell your mama hi? Tell her hi. Let me turn you in the light here so everybody can get a good look at you. You ain't quite front camera worthy yet, but you get there someday. Oh, that, that rod right there was getting hit. I just had it back down in the in the water. They, um, it, it's a couple feet under the surface it was getting hit. <laughs> get on out here, fish. He was smacking the kayak on the way out. I don't think he was very happy with me. But uh, yeah, yeah, starting out pretty good out here. I'm gonna get that bait back down, get spun back around again. I'm just, again, I'm just working this ledge. I'm hoping to run into some fish during these summer months. You know, fish are active. They're off and on the move. So trolling, if you don't have current or drifting, if you do, and just let the current take you down, very effective way to put your baits in front of a large number of fish. Y'all, I want you to look at this right here. I got all these baits in the floor. I'm switching them out. I went to reel this one in. This rod had gotten hit, but I didn't know there's a fish on there. One of these small blues ate the stinger fly, and he's been sitting down there with it. And I didn't know it until I went to reel this bait in. And switch it out, doggone him. Yep, fish. That's why I put them stinger flies on there, by gosh, to get me a few extra bites. I don't know if we want him or not. He's, he's an ugly old thing. Maybe when you get bigger, you'll be worth catching. You'll at least be, maybe he'll be smart enough to eat a, a real bait and not this fake fly when he gets a little older. He got that line all slimed up too, didn't he? Nasty old thing. But yeah, y'all, I've been getting dinked down through here with fish that are probably that size boy i'm dark on the screen the sun's out but i've just been getting chewed up down through here with fish that's probably that size and smaller they're just shredding my bait so i'm switching everything out now I was in the process of that when i realized that fish was hooked up but i'm gonna keep making my way along for a little bit further down through here if i keep getting these just super small fish just shredding me I'm gonna reel up and move on down river, go hit another area. But I wanna give this ledge a little bit more time and see if I can get out of these really tiny fish and find some better quality through here. There's definitely fish along this ledge. It's just a matter of sorting through the really small ones that can't get the bait and the hook and finding something a little bit bigger. Now I'm gonna show you something on my screen. That's my live scope. And you see all this right here? Hopefully you can see that. See me pulling this whole thing up? I had three lines snagged. I got one of them undone. Here's some more of it over here on this side. I've got a damn trot line. I've ran three lines through a trot line. I got one undone, but I still got two that are snagged. I've pulled this thing up. It looks like there's some fish on that trot line too. I can see them right there. Smaller fish. But you can see me lifting that whole damn thing up when I raise this rod. But I'm snagged in this damn thing. Ain't nothing worse than a trot liner. Nothing. You know, there's no damn reason this water's contaminated out here. These advisories up, you, you shouldn't be eating this stuff. We're downstream from the coal ash spill, which is one of the worst ecological disasters in United States history and dumbasses out here putting out trot lines a mile long, getting everybody like me's lines snagged in it when we run across the damn things. I'm gonna have to end up breaking this line and this line off because they're all just tied up in it. Watch this, you can see it right there on the screen and there's fish on it too. Watch this when I pull it up. 
See me raising that whole damn, the whole damn contraption up. Look how long that thing is. I'm pulling the line and all them fish that's on it. Every time I raise it. But I can't work my, my line loose for love or money. That just pisses me off, man. Pisses me off. Look right here, y'all. I got a pile of fish around my front rod. Here's a larger mark up here. I think that's a paddlefish. You can see that long nose on him. I don't know what all these are. These are smaller marks down here. Well, that rod right there got hit. That's a head bait there on that rod I retied. I'm just kind of sitting right up on them. That's, they're right under the kayak. May just be small cats or drum or something. I don't know. Here comes another big mark right there, though. I don't know what that is. That one's about, I'm 47 feet right now. That mark right there is about 35 feet deep. But there's a pile of fish. I may, I may spot lock here a second and just see, just see what's going on. See if some of these fish hook up or, it'd be nice to hook one of them just to see what they are. I have to believe as many of them as down there though, if it was, if it was cats, I should be hooked up by now. I don't know if one of them things, that's, that's something about live scope is you see a bunch of fish on there, but you don't always know what they are. They have definitely piled down there though. All right, there's one of them that's hooked up. I think that one got hit just then too. This one's got it. I don't think the other one did. Oh, my front left rod. It's getting hit too. We'll pull one of these up here and just see what they are. I'm curious. It's just a bunch of fish down there. Right there by my baits. I'm at the, kind of at the top edge of a, of a little hole here. Yeah, that's a, that's a small blue, small blue kitty right there. If it's a him and a bunch of his friends that size, we're going to move on. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, he's got my other line. Doggone, this fish wrapped me up. He, well, he gones what he is. I guess he had swam into my other line up there or something. Doggone it, man. They've been down there, all them fish is ganging up on me. If it ain't the trot liners, it's the fish getting me tangled up. Oh, oh, that's a nice, that's a nice hit. I think it's another small one though. He thumped it and then he started rolling on, I could see my rod tip just a wiggling. That's another one right here in this pile of fish. We'll pull him up here. I bet it's another small blue, about the same size as that other. And at least this one here didn't get my line or my other line all wrapped up. I'm about done with tangles for the day. Oh, quick release on him. Perfect. Uh oh, this one's getting hit now. Wait. Hey, he wants it. They chewing me up down there, y'all. I'm going to show you on the screen again right quick. Look at all that. I got a glare of the sun's behind me. But you can just see a pile of them. Right here's the zero mark. That's where I'm at. And I'm looking about 30 feet out in front of me or so. And they just, all them small fish right there. They just down there just nipping and chewing. And that one right there get hooks up briefly. At least he left the bait on. Let's see what it looks like. We may send it back down there. I gotta fix my fly back. Well, that's a little better takedown. Let's see if we can reel him in. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be quite as big as a takedown. It has been a day of the dinks thus far. And really not many of them. I mean, I've had a lot of taps, but not a lot of solid hookups. I think I've seen more fish attached to that trot line up there than what I've seen. 
on the end of my line today. Them damn trot liners, they'll, they'll have enough fish on that line up there when they reel it in for at least three tumors. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a larger dink right there. He got the bait though. He, uh, the stinger's right there beside it, but he ate the hook with the bait. Oh, oh, hey, calm it down there, fish. Who you think you are now? Fish right here. He thinks he owns the place. He says, I put that hook in his jaw and he's gonna sue me and take this kayak so he'll just do whatever he wants to in it. He says, I've, he says, I physically assaulted him here and caused him bodily harm. Well, there is video proof of it, I guess, fish. Go, go call your lawyer. Better call Saul, as he used to say, breaking bad. That's a pretty good show back in the day. Old Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, Saul Goodman. All right, let me get another bait on there. I'll see if I can find one just as big. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Let's reel in another one. I thought that front, well, that front rod, my line had swam back. I thought something was gonna take it down. Something has got that one. I'm doubled and I think they wrapped up in each other. <laughs> I needed a tangle today, y'all. Lord knows, Lord knows I needed another tangle after the trot liner. I'm gonna have to tie me up some more stinger fly rigs. I'm, I think I'm down to two now. My other two rods here just got a regular Carolina rig which is fine. I've caught tons of fish on that through the years, but I'm really liking the stinger fly. Yeah, that's another, that's another blue cat right there. He come out of that other line, thankfully, but I think that other fish is gone. I think it is anyway. It may have just been this fish in that other line, possibly, I don't know. Well, there's another old, silly old blue cat there in that. That must have been him hitting my kayak or something. I thought one of these other rods was going down because I felt that. Well, maybe it was another fish. I don't know, I felt a thump or something, but it may have been that fish hitting the kayak on his way out. This rod right over here ain't acting right though. Let me, let me get this back in the chest, get my, this fish here, look at that. He tore my glove. I got damages out here today, y'all. I'm, I'm in bad shape. Everything's getting tore up today. Well, I'm imagining things, I guess. I thought that rod had got hit or something. Shows what I know. Anyway, I'll just continue to make my way along, y'all. I still see those fish there. As long as I just keep making my way along, I'm still seeing them. But I don't think they're all cats. And I know I've got the sun behind me. I'm. I need to turn this way, get some light on my face. Y'all know you want to see it. But um, I don't think all them fish on the screen there, I don't think they're all small cats. If they were, every one of these rods would just be getting constantly hit. It'd be musical rods. And it's, it's kind of just been sporadic nips here and there and an occasional hookup. So I think whatever that is, it's some kind of bait fish or smaller species of fish with some cats just intermittently mixed in is what I think. But I'm just kind of cruising along here, just kind of working my way down river, kind of working, here goes this rod now. Well, let's reel in another one, why don't we? As I'm talking about cruising down river here. But just kind of keeping my speed half a mile an hour or so, this and let it go. Let's see if he took a bait with him. Well, bait's still on there, still looking good. All right, let me drop this one back down, get my other line down there, and we'll see if we can find another one that's big enough to stay hooked up. I believe I'm gonna reel me in another one. One at a time, but I'll take it. That's another one on a body chunk here. I've actually got three chunks on right now in one head. I figure if it is 
smaller fish down in there, I'd, I'd have better odds of getting double or triple up. Make these fish a little bit more fun. It makes the smaller ones more fun when you get two or three at a time. I figure I have a better chance of that on the body chunks, but I still got one big head bait out. Just in case Big Daddy comes along. And this one here, he's foul hooked. He got the stinger, buddy. He got stung today. Like an old, uh oh, there goes my head. Speaking of the head, let's set, let's set stinger fly back here. Nope. He trying to run off with it. That fish saw I was distracted. He saw an opportunity. And you gotta watch these fish. You gotta have eyes in the back of your head. They'll rob you blind as soon as you turn your back on them. This one here, this one here got caught in the act though. He tried to steal a bait. And my security guard, known as the stinger fly, shot him in the back on his way out. Yeah, you done it to yourself, fish. Daggone lawbreaker up in here. All right. You got anything to say for yourself? Nothing. He went completely quiet, didn't he? He knows. He knows his right to remain silent. Nobody wanted to hear what he had to say anyway. All right. You can see they've ate the... They ate the gut pocket out of that bait that's no longer, and it's been down there. I just switched them out not long ago. It still looks like it's pretty good shape overall, though. Let me just rehook it and send it back down. Again, got the stinger fly there about, I don't know, six, eight inches under that bait. And that's on a Carolina rig. And this is just, I tie that stinger fly off my tag end. I leave my tag end on my snail. Let me get my rod there this tag on my no knot snail comes off a little longer and that's what i'm tying that stinger fly to and then i've got probably i don't know 10 12 inches of leader line between my hook and my sinker there and when i drop this down to the bottom i let that sinker hit bottom raise the whole thing up a couple feet so that that stinger is just off the bottom. I got another one working this one up here. And as I move along and the depth changes, I'm always tinkering with my baits, just adjusting them for to compensate. The best place to do this style of fishing, if you're suspending and you're trolling or drifting, the best places for it are areas where gr there's gradual inclines or declines. If you're on a stretch of river where it's up and down, up and down, you're gonna be changing your baits up. There goes that head now. That's a that's a better takedown. That's a better takedown right there. Oh, I that one's going down too. This one's the one I'm more interested in though. That's the head bait. I was trying to say though, if you're doing this style of fishing, it's better to do it in areas where it's gradual changes in depth that helps you keep from getting snagged them up and downs real jagged areas your bait's either going to be too high off the bottom and you're not going to get bit as often or you're going to be on the bottom dragging with that exposed hook and getting snagged up all day but this is a very effective way and very fun way to fish oh that was another one that fooled me. He was foul hooked, why he was fighting so hard. And that one ain't even got a stinger fly on it. He just got the, that hook with the head bait in the back. Doggone, man, I thought that was a better fish. That's what these small fish need to do for me. They need to foul hook themselves so I can get a better fight out of them. That'd make them all more enjoyable to catch. Come on up here, let's get you, let's get you squared away. Oh no, he just doo dooed all over us there. You nasty fish. He S H I T all over me. Joggone it. He's laughing about it. Listen at him laughing about it. He doo doos all over the place and he thinks it's funny, yo weirdo fish. You need a bidet's what you need. You need a Tushy 2.0. That's what I got at my house clean yourself off there. You need to be pressure washed fish. 
Now he's trying to splash it up in my face. Get on out of here. I mean, look at, get out of here. You nasty thing. Look at this. I mean, look at that right there. It's everywhere. It reminds me, I ain't even gonna tell the story. I was gonna tell one of my old nursing stories back before you too, but this fella, he managed, he, he shat somehow or another. He'd been over and, and he shat splattered the wall in an upward trajectory. I've never seen anybody poop upwards before that guy, but he did it. And that reminds me of that fish laying in the floor and has somehow flung poop up there on the a, on a top of the kayak. Anyway, nobody wants to hear those stories. Let me get some baits back down there and hose this thing off and we'll catch some more fish. Oh, oh, there's a nice takedown. There's a nice takedown. Look at him, he's pulling some drag now. He's pulling some drag. Let me get this rod out of the way. That might, we might finally have a good fish. We might finally have a good fish here, y'all. I was getting on a, another bait ready. My back rod had gotten stripped and this one took off, man. This one pulled a little drag, he feels better. I've put in some time out here this morning, sorted through some dinks and some trot lines. I may be about to get rewarded with a little better quality fish. I feel like I'm due. 56 feet here. Yeah, oh boy, he's pulling now. All right, fish. All right, all real in a good one. These dinks, they've just been, and it ain't even been all, I mean, it ain't even been like I've been terrorized, like with every rod getting, you know, musical rod. It's just enough to annoy you. Just one here, one there, just nipping at you. But you put enough time in, eventually, you come across a better fish and I think I've got a better one right here. He feels good. Watch me pull him up and he'd be foul hooked or something. <laughs> I see him right here. Let me show you on my live scope. You see him right there at the top about the, the 10 foot mark, 20 foot mark as I'm reeling him in. That's a, that's a, that's a bigger mark. Come on fishy. He's rolling, I think it's a blue. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice fish right there. That's a whopper, man. That's a golly whopper right there. That's a golly whopper right there, man. That made it worthwhile to sort through the dinks right there. Holy cow. This right here is a beast, man. I'm gonna set him back just a second. Like I said, I was, I had got me another bait cut up for this rod because it was stripped. I'm gonna leave him sitting there a second. I'm gonna rebait this one and drop it down just in case he's got some friends with him. I wanna make sure I've got every bait I possibly can down there. That one ate one of the head baits, some skipjack heads. Those are big fish baits. But I wanna get this one down there and then I'll land this fish. Holy cow, he's a good one. All right, y'all, it's about that time. I'm gonna try to land this thing. I hope he's about tuckered out. Oh man, I got him. Let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. Oh, buddy. That's a dang sumo golly whopper right there, man. Caught him on my golly whopper rod. Got him right there in the corner of the mouth with one of them skipjack heads. That right there, buddy. That's a big fish bait. And we got a big one right here. All right, y'all. I'll spun myself around into the sun so I can get a picture with this thing. This is a, this is a golly whopper right here, man. Holy cow. <laughs> awesome, man. Got made a catfish sumo right here. <laughs> Awesome, man. It's the biggest one I've got since the spawn started. Whoo! Nice. You know, we're into late July now. Spawn here's about wrapped up. It's time for fish this size to get their weight back on and start showing up more frequently. And I had to sort through a bunch of small fish out here. Had to sort through a dang trot line. 
but I kept putting my time in. I kept making my way along and I've been rewarded today. The river's been good to me. Oh, whoo. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let him go here in a second. I'm gonna rest my arms, man. This one's heavy. This will wear you out right here. Oh, fish, look up there at that camera and tell him to hit the like and subscribe, would you? He, he don't work for me. He ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, man. Let me just hold him up like that. Nice, man. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Well, let's send him home. What a battle. Uh-huh. Get on out of here, fish. Oh, he gone. Whoo. Fist pump worthy on that and right there, y'all. I mean, I got out here right before dawn. It's 10, 19 right now. I just make them my way along, you know, and just putting in the time, keeping my baits where they need to be, working along this ledge. <laughs> it's a good day y'all no matter what kind of frustrations i had earlier getting all everything tangled up and having to cut line and all that you get a fish like that all the bad stuff's gone it's a good day i got another i got another hit on this head let me set this rod back i got another hit on this head let's reel in another one I just reeled in a fish on that other front line that wasn't going to make the video because he's too small and it's hard to follow up that last big fish I caught there. I mean, that, kinda, that thing was the main event. So I told that other fish, I said, you ain't going to make a video. Oh, now this one was going off as I was fixing that line back. I don't think this one's, for the size of the bait, I don't think he's going to be very big. He's uh, ah, he's at least big enough to make the video, I guess. He's a larger dink, smaller, we'll call him smaller fun size. Another one on the head though. Let me spot lock again here a second. I'm just kind of working the same area. I'm just doing a little circular pattern here in this little hole. This, that big fish, he may not have been alone. There's clearly food source down there with all them smaller fish that I have marked. Again, I don't, I don't believe they're all small catfish. I don't know what they are, but there's something, there's something small. And I think there's some cats in her mixed in with them. That's probably feeding on them. Listen here, he wants every second of camera time he can get. He don't want to open his mouth for nothing. Well, fine. We'll just bring you in like this. I'm getting that hook out of you one way or the other. Oh Lord. He just knocked my motor handle off there, my cord. Danged old fish. I'm saving you fish, Lord. You ought to be thanking me. This fish here, he's gonna, he was gonna be sore lipped from biting my hook. And now he ain't gonna go up there and bite that trot line hook because somebody'd eat you fish. They'd grow a, a third arm after eating you, but by gosh, they'd try. Get out of here. I gotta, I gotta get me a new glove right there, y'all. That's, that's bad. That ain't even worth having a glove on. He left the bait in good shape. I put a new head on after that big fish, so. We'll send it back down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that other bait over on the other side fixed. That other fish was a lot smaller than the, the one that ate his head, so. I think I'm gonna just spend the rest of my time out here this morning, kind of in this general area right here. And just keep making, making a little progress. Just kind of working each side of this hole. I'll try to show you here on the graph. I got my live scope screen for the bulk of my, my screen here, but you can kind of, uh, you probably can't see with the glare and all, but there's just a, there's a hole here. The ledge drops off and, and the hole is just kind of a you can see i'm just kind of going around it's not a real big area but it's a little bit of a depression here 55 feet and so anyway i'll hook that big fish 
in this hole. And you know, I've, I've marked all those fish there that I see on the live scope. Um, maybe small cats, maybe some kind of flu. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll, we'll never know. It's a mystery, unsolved mystery. It was Robert Stack, 1988. But I'm just going to fish another maybe hour or so, and I'm going to just keep doing, doing laps around this hole, just keeping my speed 0 0.3, 0 0.5. Who knows? Might find another big fish. Might find another small fish or two. Might not catch a damn thing. But that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. I got two rods here getting hit. That's the head bait though. That's the one I, that's the one I want to pick up on. Oh boy, he's pulling too. Well, this head bait got popular all of a sudden. My other front rod was getting hit. It must just been a dink on it. It didn't. It didn't go down. Just rod tip was just dancing. I don't think this one's going to be huge. Felt pretty good there when I first picked up on him, but he's he's coming on up. Got pontooner over here. He's going to drive by, get a closer look. They can see the show live. Y'all having to tune in about a week or so late. These people over here, they get in a the front row seat to live action maybe they'll leave me a super chat as they drive by come on fish give these pontooners a show over here that's a nice one that's a nice one right there it's a fun size oh now, now, now that front rod's going down well maybe i think there's another tank messing with it i'm just going to deal with the one in the hand here I'm gonna take care of this this old fun sizer here, get him landed. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, y'all. There's fish in here, they're just kinda, I'm just gonna stay spot locked, I think. So every time I get back on the move, I'm getting bit. I might as well just stay right here where I'm at. Come on in here, fishy. Come on in here. Give me that skipjack head back too. I might catch another fish on it. My pliers there and pry that out. Look at this fish here, buddy. He's got some kind of rash or something all over his face. Listen, these these ointments for that fish. Y'all get that taken care of. Well, I reckon that is front camera worthy. That's a what I call fun size, a solid fun sizer right there. But uh, another one there on the head bait. They want a head, I give them options, you know. I, sometimes they like a head, sometimes they like the chunks. Sometimes it don't matter what you throw down there, they either gonna eat it or they ain't gonna eat it. But uh, I like to mix it up and this one here chose the head. He gonna choose to leave whether he wants to or not cause he gone. This head bait, y'all. And this is another one that didn't have the stinger fly rigs cause I'm, I got to tie me up some more, but that head, you can see it still looks good. All the meat and juices and everything, blood still in there. So I'm going to send it right back down. Now this back rod here is going down. He's got it. He's got it. Okay. I ain't going to pull a little bit too, huh? Okay. You can do it fish. Yeah, y'all, I'm spot locked right here and I'm just gonna stay spot locked. I'm just gonna stay here the duration of the time left I'm gonna fish and I'm gonna do maybe an hour. It's 11 now, it's a little bit hazy out here, but it's starting to get hot. And I'm gonna be off the, off the water before it gets miserable today. But I'm having a dang good time while I'm out here, that's for sure. These fish, the bite today, you know, getting all them dinks there first thing. Just sorting through them, sorting through them. And now, made my way down, getting a little better quality. This is another good one right here. This is another good one. That's solid. That's a solid fish. You on up here and let everybody take a look at you. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. That was on a chunk. He's mad, buddy. He's mad. Look at him show. He's doing TikTok dance. Woo-wee, you got moves, fish. Well, 
You get on over here now. You dance your way on into this kayak, buddy. Get on up. Oh, oh, oh. Boy, I got to get that dang glove fixed. They're going to rip the hide off my hand. And my hand's going to look as nasty as some of these fish's face. Well, that's what's left of that bait. We'll change that out here in a second. Well, a little bit bigger than the last one there. Another another solid fun sizer, fun size fish. Whew. I don't know about y'all, I'm about wore out. It wouldn't hurt you to come out here and help me reel one in. Look here, look at this rod over here behind me. It's getting hit now too. That's a dink messing with it. There's some better quality fish mixed in down there. All right, see you old buddy. But they know when you wounded, they're going to take advantage. Right there, he tried to rip my thumb off. He got it now. He got it now. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that takedown. All right. <laughs> oh. Yep. I don't think that's the same fish that was messing with it a second ago. Do you? I don't think it is. That's another, that's another good fish. Yeah, yeah, I ain't moving again. I'm just gonna stay spot locked right here where I'm at. No reason to be doing anything. This hole ain't big enough to where they ain't gonna be able to find my bait. I kind of thought that, you know, I was gonna keep kind of doing laps around it because I thought that maybe getting a having the bait moving was helping me but i don't think it matters at this point i think they're just gonna i think they're hungry and they're gonna eat so i guess i could turn this camera kind of spin it a little bit so y'all get a better view see my old golly whopper rod in action here signature series available catfishsumo.com i'll go ahead and plug them right quick Code word kayak gets you 10% off your order. Everything on the site. This fish right here, he said he's going he gonna to buy him something down there. He's going to try to get a commemorative item to remember this forever. It ain't every day these fish get caught by a YouTuber, you know. They're going to make their parents proud. They'll be the most popular kid in school. Here comes another pontoon over here to watch the show. I wish these fish had been biting first thing this morning because them, them pontoon are still asleep at dawn. Had the place to myself then. Oh, this fish got my front line. That's all right. Oh, boy, he's pulling now. He got bubbles coming up. I still ain't got to look at him. Oh, yeah, that's another, that's another good fish right there, guys. But he is all up in that line. He got all of that front line, but that's okay. I'll allow it this time. I'll forgive him. Look right here. Look right here. There goes my head. Let me set this one back here in the holder. Let me, let me just put the camera back in the chest. Oh, no. He let it go. He let it go. Let me just drop it back down and reset it. Look at this school something right here on my screen too. Let me get this, let me get this camera up here and show you on my live scope. Right under the kayak, from about 10 to 20 foot down, there's a big school of shad or something. Right there under me right now. Well, let's land this thing. I can't be showing off the screen and all this stuff. We got rods going down. We got stuff that we gotta do out here. All right, you come on in here, fish. Now you behave yourself in here. We got rules once you enter the kayak now. Boy, he's a mess in this line, buddy. He is all up in it. I got a feeling that line has been constricted around him. And when I get him untangled, I'm fearful he's gonna really start flopping. And a fish like this, when it starts flopping, it can cause some damage. Well, so far so good. I got him untangled and he ain't acting a fool. This fish has been taught some manners. 
This has been to one of them debutante schools right here. This is probably on like a, a beauty pageant or something, one of them toddlers and tiaras. That was what kind of fish this was. It's got a leech on the side of its face over here though. It's kind of nasty. The second part of its life hasn't went as well as its childhood. Lord almighty, you got jet ski pontooner. At least, they, at least this air is wide open right here. I don't have to have them right up on me. I went down to Nickajack the other day and all these daggone Miami Vice cigar boats come through all at once racing each other and the channel's about this wide down there. Had my life flashing before my eyes. Thought I was gonna get to get run over and get to sue somebody. Maybe get to retire or something. Didn't happen that time though. You know, I'm gonna pick up on this thing, y'all. I think I might have a fish. I do. <laughs> I'm hooked up right here. Unbelievable, man. This bite's just turned on. Good thing is, with the number of better quality fish I'm getting here. I can probably edit out some of the small ones I've got out here this morning. Make for a little better video anyway. So it's been a, it's been a productive day on both size and numbers at this point. Let me get this one over here. Oh heck, this one here is hooked in the back, y'all. This one's hooked in the back. It's another one of them foul hook. He's dark as all get out too. Come here, fish. This one felt bigger than he was. I'd assume all these small fish foul hook themselves. They fight so much better. I'd just leave him hooked like that and let him swim around. The way he's hooked through the back, he might hook me a monster, by gosh. That's happened before. I've had, I've hooked smaller fish and had something bigger eat them and brought them in and and they've had marks on them where they've been bit there's the head got the head back yet again let's get a hold of him look at him look at that ugly thing look up there and tell him hi say hi to your mama fish there he is get out of here I gotta get some stuff sorted out here, y'all. I'm gonna drop that head down. I'm gonna get these two lines untangled, get rebaited. I'll probably just go ahead and reel that one in anyway because the, the bait's probably got knocked off. But then I'm gonna get reset and if they wanna keep biting, I'll keep catching them, I guess. Y'all, you can't see it. I can't zoom in on the camera. Boy, there's a pontoon boat for what looks like hot girls going by, some of them jumping up and down on there. Oh. Tits McGee's out today, buddy. I may need to, I may need to see if they need a lifeguard or something on that boat. I might could help them out. But uh, anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to get on up out of here. It's been an awesome morning, both quality and quantity out here today. And look right here. I may get one more here before I wrap it up. I got one rod in and I noticed the, the party girls going by. It may have just been a dink or something. But uh, yeah, quality and quantity today. Lost some tackle because the damn trot liners. I'll piss a bunch of them off. Boy, we'll be blocking people left and right in the comment box over my rant on those people. I'm leaving them biting today though, y'all. I'm about to get on up out of here because it's hot as blazes. And I can't get none of them pontoon grills to rub any suntan lotion on me. So I'm about to go home to the air condition, but we're gonna reel in one more before I do. I hope them girls loop back around so they can see me reel in this fish. They'll be impressed. There'll be four or five of them want my phone number. They'll be dropping in the DMs on the Instagram as the kids say. I think that's what they say, dropping, dropping in the DM. I don't know what the hell they say. I ain't no kid. Look at this. Speaking of kids, this is a kid catfish right here. He ate the stinger fly. But there we go. I think I was gonna get that thing out. These kids today. 
I'll tell you what, folks. But anyway, awesome morning out here. But I think I am going to leave them biting and take it to the house, hit the air condition, and grab me some lunch. But hey, it's been fun for me. I hope it's been fun for all of y'all, except for the trot liners. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. I'm going to turn the camera back on, y'all. I got a fish on here. This is my last rod I'm bringing in, and I pick up on it, and it's got a fish. Didn't even know it. They wasn't weight on there or nothing when I picked up. I mean, when I went to pick it up. I feel him. I feel him. My gosh. To heck. Well, for those of you that stuck around all the way, it's going to be a long video today. Even after editing out some of the small fish, it's going to be a long video. Now, for those of you that stuck around, your bonus fish is going to be a flathead. I'm going to skip jackhead. Yes, sir. For those of you that stuck around to the end, thank each and every one of you. I don't know how you watch this crap, but I appreciate it. This flathead appreciates it, because if you didn't stick around to the end, y'all wouldn't even know who he was. I've literally, y'all, I've got every other rod in. I'd left my head down there, because I wanted, I wanted it to be the last one in, just in case, you know, another big fish come along. And I'll be doggone, I pick up on it and there's a fish there. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do too. Just because I'm feeling generous, y'all, I'm gonna put that flathead in the floor. This will make my dad so happy. He gets on me all the time about not ever, not ever feeding these fish and giving them the baits and stuff. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tuck this in there. That's for you, Flatty. Oh, oh, he spit it back out. He don't even want it. Now that ain't right, Flathead, come here. I'm trying to make amends with you. You just, you just suck that on down. There he is, folks. There's you, there's your bonus fish. He's got his bait in there. Well, I'm sending him home with a full belly. Get out of here. Oh, look right there. He still didn't want it. He spit it out right there. Ungrateful fish. Got me a flathead though. That's a way to go out on the end of a day, end of a video with a flathead. I'll take it. I'll see you next time.